Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com, and welcome. Welcome to Lulu. Lulu really shows you the power of the gap. Look at the gap that Lulu had. This was just a couple of days ago. Date on this gap here from Lulu was the 13th. Look at the beautiful move that Lulu had here on Monday and the follow-through now that it's breaking today. This stock has not had one green day since it gapped. Can't back up at all. Hasn't retraced even 50% of the original move here of the day of the gap. And not only that, I'm, I'm actually surprised. This is not, obviously, it's you know, it's almost 4 o'clock. It's not going to get to 48 today, but it will. This is, this is, an, this is going to continue here tomorrow. Uh, larger target on Lulu for a swing train. Well, the first target was the 48, and I really feel like 47 is possible even in the next few days. It just, just, it just can't get a breath of life here. And the whole time that this is happening here, the market's very, very bullish. So you know that the weakness here is real. Well, you know the weakness is real anyways. I mean, this is just one of these things where it's, you know, it really gives you a lot of conviction in gaps and gaps to play on the strength for not only day trades, which was the 13th here, but also the longer term to be in as a swing or a core trade. I mean, the high of the gap here in Lulu on the 13th was 51.75. Today, this is down at 48.50. That's a nice trade. And so you're in and here the day trade. You stay with it. Look how much you'd still be up in this if you're still holding it. I mean, I really think 48 is even in sight this week. Now, here's what happened in this in the 15 minute, and I'll go over the one minute. 48.51 and touched down on at 12.30 when it backed up here and tried to break a new low and couldn't do it here into 2 o'clock major reversal time. It was done for the day. So if you were in Lulu short all day, you had to exit here. It didn't break a new low. But had a nice trade this morning. Let's get a look here. Gosh, I wonder what it would be like if the market, the equities market would open, be open 24 hours. It's, it, you know... I have, I have no concept of time since I've come back to New York. If it wouldn't be for the fact that I have to, actually have to set my alarm now every morning uh, to get up to trade. I, 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 never, I, never, I never had to set my alarm before. I mean, I would, but I never needed it. I would always get up before my alarm. Uh, and, and ever since I moved to the city, I have no concept of time, uh, specifically because it's winter now and it gets dark so early. But it's like I have no concept of time. I have to set the alarm or I don't get out of bed. I don't know what time I'm going to bed, and it's hard to see what time I'm getting up. And it's been so dark in the morning and gets dark so early, and I have no concept of time. And even when I get out of the bed in the morning, it's pitch black dark like it's night. And everything in the city is living and breathing and moving like 24 hours. It, it, I, it would be really interesting to see if the equity market was open 24 hours, what would be the hours I would trade. I would come up with some other system for trading a different time frame, probably like late in the night. It's hilarious uh, because of this fact that I'm, I'm up later and later now that living in the city. In fact, my gym is open 24 hours a day in my building. I mean, I could have a piece of chocolate cake at midnight and then go run it off at 3 a.m. It's just hilarious. Okay, so here's Lulu. This is Lulu today. Open, open under $50, couldn't get over it, held, held immediately. Of course, you know, you're not shorting this right here for no reason. The stock didn't gap today, but it's already a, a follow-through continuation gap from the day of the original gap back on Monday. Today's Thursday. It's four days into it. There's a sell setup right here. Beautiful, nice set up when it, sell setup when it breaks 50. And again, you can play this tight if you want to, which is here. The large red bar that happens out of the gate tells you that it's weak. If you wanted to give a little bit more room, more room, you could have, but I think it could have been tight with it here. Why? Because this is a good time of the day for this to be triggering into the first five minutes. And actually, the right thing to do is to get this down here. The first target's 49. If it doesn't break it and get down there, you get out of a portion of the trade. As it turns out, if you held it all the way to the target, never backed over it. Could have lowered the stop here, could have done an add here. And here was a good time of the day because it's getting into 10 o'clock, drives all the way down, and to here into $49. And this is the first target. As it turns out, Lulu set up on every five minute today. <clears throat> we talked about this earlier about buy setups and sell setups. You cannot take every sell setup in a stock that's in a downtrend. You can't. If you do, they don't all hold. And those of you that do sell setups that don't really understand what a sell setup is, you think you do but you don't really understand exactly where to take them, know this, because I'm sure you've met, done many sell setups and it all hold and you wonder why. A lot of places talk about rallies into uh, areas to do sell setups. They don't all hold. You really have to understand where they're going to hold, why they're going to hold in the numbers. Uh, that's something that I teach in the class more specifically. I'm not going to get into that here, but Lulu was okay to short into every rally today. Why? Why, why, why? 
It's falling off a planet. It's falling off a cliff. There's no hope for this Lulu now. It's going to get down to the number. Look at this area here of resistance that it's holding. Beautiful. It comes down again, can't get over it. Comes down again, can't get over it. Comes up again and can't get over it. This is picture perfect, except for the fact that it didn't break a new low in here into 2 o'clock, and so you're out. Really nice move, though, today. If you wanted to do a uh, short today against the market, Lulu was a nice follow through continuation gap play. Continuation gaps can be part of your trading plan if you want to do these. Personally, I usually prefer uh, new, brand new gaps in the day, but every once in a while, I'll see something that has more target in it, more room, and decide to do a continuation or follow through. It's usually only if I have nothing else to do, though, on the day. That's rare, uh, specifically in earnings season, but you know, it's one of these things where you got to pick and choose what you do. I, I think it's good to be very uh, disciplined in how many trades you take a day. You do a follow through. If it doesn't work, your better chance is to just lay off of it or wait for a higher team setup. But, you know, Lulu happened and set up immediately today on the lower time frame of the one minute chart. And how are you getting this information? What are you doing it? Where is it all coming from? Where is the conviction? Where is the basis from everything? It's the gap. It always goes back to the gap. It's the gap. It's the gap. It's the gap. It's the gap. You rate the gap, the day of the gap, the rating of the gap. The gap rates over 20 points. You know there's weakness there and you can short it to trade. And that's what gives you conviction to do it, to take the trade and to take the risk. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is Lulu, a golden gap, a golden gap, which it was on my list many, many times. Um, you know, last year in 2013, I think I, I did a couple different, I think it was the gap in the month. Yeah, Lulu was a gap in the month, I think, last year, one of the months. So, you know, Lulu is just amazing. And this is one of those stocks that can run like the Dickens, really can, and, and doesn't really have usually that big of a spread. So it's a nice stock to trade um, if you understand how to trade it. And, and not that bad of a price point either here around this $50 range. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. The Golden Gap class is this weekend. Still a few spot le spots left. If you want to sign up, it's Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.